mistakes. Unless you are really, really unusual, and you seem really, really bright and fabulously good looking, it, but unless you are really unusual, you are probably going to make a few mistakes in life. I sure did. You may be planning mistake-free lives. Okay, but remember the Yiddish proverb, want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. Don't worry about screwing up. I mean, try not to, but everyone makes mistakes. That's why it's good to have an exit strategy. Remember Kierkegaard, the Danish philosopher with the last name no one can spell? You'll be hearing more about him in college. However you spell his name, Kierkegaard said, life is best understood lived backwards, but it must be lived forward. I have two godsons. One just left for Iraq. The other is in Afghanistan. They're both captains in the United States Army. One is in Special Forces, the other is with the 1st Cavalry. Both of them went through very intensive training. And they to told me about this technique that they teach in survival courses. And though you are not headed happily for Iraq or Afghanistan, I thought I'd share it with you. It's called STOP, S-T-O-P. It's an acronym. And if it's useful to a downed pilot in hostile territory, it can also be applied to life here at home, even on these mean streets that you and I grew up in. When we're in trouble, physical, mental, spiritual, any kind, trouble comes in so many varieties, our natural tendency is to panic, to run, to flee, physically or metaphorically. Evolution has wired us to do this long before the internet started messing around with our neurons. The trouble is that when we panic, when we run, we can easily go off the cliff or into traffic or out the window. Panic is natural, but it is not a solution. It is not the smart response to trouble. So what they teach you in these military survival courses is this technique called STOP, which is an acronym for Stop, Think, Observe, Proceed. Say you've gotten yourself into some kind of fix, and before you know it, you're going in circles, going nuts, panicking. What do I do? What do I do? Well, if it comes to that, stop. Take, take a deep breath. Okay, now think. What's the solution? What's the smart thing to do? Okay, now observe. Get your bearings. How did I get into this fix? How do I get out of this fix? What's the smart way out? Okay, now you're calmer, you're thinking, you're using that good Birch, Wath, and Lennox trained brain. You know where you are, and you know how to fix it, and now you can proceed. You're going to be okay.